Most of the time it comes in from the COs. I mean, you can probably Google right now, correctional officer gets arrested for breaking. Good morning, my lovelies, my beauties, my friends. My name is Christina and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I really hope that you will subscribe, stick around, take a chance on hearing some things that I have to say and if you are a returning subscriber, y'all already know, y'all are my babies. So good morning, good morning, good morning. How is everybody doing? I hope you guys are having a great day. Today we are going to be discussing some of the ways that people make money while incarcerated, while in prison, da, 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 da. Today we're specifically gonna be talking about ways in actual prison and not like jail. Some things can go in jail as well, but some things are gonna be exclusive to prison. When I do this, when I'm finished with all of these, if you guys know of anything extra, maybe a family member's told you, maybe you've been locked up yourself, a spouse or somebody, and you know of a way that I haven't named in here, then let me know in the comment section down below because I would love to hear it. Okay, so first we're gonna start with the one that I've told you guys about a million times just because it needs to be in here and if I don't add it, I'll get 50 comments below saying, well, didn't you say this before and why are you not saying it now? So we're gonna start off with the two for ones, four for ones, six for ones, that type of thing. What happens is people make money. Now remember, in prison, canteen, food, items are like money in there. You cannot have actual money, money, so food, items, clothing, stuff like that is considered money, trade-offs, that type of thing. So if I loan you a pack of cookies until next week when you get your money, you're gonna give me two packs back. It's a two for one. Now, if you can't give me my money back next week, then it's a four for one, a six for one, you know, eight for one, depending on how long it is until you actually are able to pay back. And that's how people hustle in prison. There's actually women in prison or the ones that I was in that have boxes. Well, like we all had like a little trunk thingy full of food that they use to trade and that's how they make money. You know, you gotta think, maybe you have somebody that comes into prison and all they have is $20, right? That's it. If they play their cards right, they can hustle that $20 out the rest of their stay if they sit on that $20 worth of stuff and do trade-offs, okay? Now what happens if somebody doesn't pay back? A bunch of different things can happen, okay? So we'll get through all of these and we'll talk about the rest later. The second way that people hustle and make money in prison is by washing clothes, shoes, stuff like that. You've typically got in a dorm at least one or two women who are like clothes washers or shoes washers. So say I want my shoes scrubbed really clean or say I want my black boots shined, you know, all shiny and looking sharp or, you know, whatever. Then these women will do it. Like say they're charging you two soups and a pack of cookies and a pack of M&Ms to wash your clothes for you. They wash them in the sink. They get bars of soap or whatever. And a lot of the times these women are really, really good at it too. They'll have your clothes looking crisp and clean, or your shoes looking whiter than white if you have canned shoes from the canteen. And they hustle like that and that's how they support themselves in there. So we'll go on to the next one. And another way that women hustle in there is by relationship acts. I've told you guys about this before. Yes, it really does happen. Uh, how else can I say this without getting in trouble? Intimate acts. Yes, really, really, really happens, okay? So, you know, somebody may trade you $20 worth of canteen to go into the bathroom and have a good time, if you know what I mean. Yeah, before we get any more awkward, let's move on to the next one. Selling your food tray, yes. So what happens is like, say it's a night that they're serving chicken or they're serving our beloved coffee cake. You know about the coffee cake, okay? People will hustle for that, okay? I'll give you my coffee cake if you give me three packs of cookies. People love the coffee cake. It's super duper good. Or if it's chicken or even if it's like a Thanksgiving dinner, you know, Thanksgiving dinner and Christmas dinners are the best prison meals that you're gonna get 
the whole entire time that you're there or, or throughout the year. It's actually really good food compared to the rest of the food that they serve you in there. So on Christmas and Thanksgiving, those trays are different. There's a little bit more food. And sometimes women really want that food and they'll just, you know, they'll they'll sell canteen or, or whatever to get that extra tray of Thanksgiving turkey and stuffing. Another way that women hustle and make money in there is by threading eyebrows. So what happens with this is they will usually pull strings out of stuff, like maybe their socks, get a really long string they pull out of their socks, and then they twist it around their fingers and they do like this, I don't know, some of you guys know exactly what I'm talking about if you've ever had your brows threaded or anything like that, and then they go and thread eyebrows. Maybe they'll charge, you know, $3 to, to thread your eyebrows. Now, when you do this, threading your eyebrows is technically against the rules. You do have some officers that if they catch you, you will get in trouble, but then you do also have those officers that, you know, they've got bigger fish to fry. They're looking for, you know, more of a threat type of thing on compound. So they're not gonna bother you if they see you guys getting your eyebrows threaded. <laughs> Another way that women make money while in prison is by sewing things, kind of like little seamstress. Now, where do they get these needles at? A lot of the times from laundry or different places, you know, somebody will smuggle out a needle or, or however they get it, I don't know. But you can, you know, sew up people's clothes. And the crazy thing about it is in prison, women can really change their clothing the way that it looks. Now, if you change your dress or your pants or shirt in a such of a drastic way, you're gonna get caught, okay? They usually make little alterations to it, enough that you can feel the difference in your clothes or it fits you a little bit better, but not enough where the officers can really tell because you can get in big trouble for that, for changing the Department of Corrections property. You know, it's destruction of Department of Corrections property. That's what it is. So like for me specifically, I had a dress in prison and I had my friend Donna take the sides in a little bit just so it fit me a little bit more better, a little bit more curvy because I am a curvy girl and the dresses that I had to wear was literally like a big, huge dress. So she just took it in in the waist a little bit. Not enough where the officers can tell, right? It's not like it's all loose down here and to my waist, but just enough. So, and of course, you know, my girl hooked me up and I hooked her up, so that's how it works. Another way that people make money in prison is by drawing and creating things. Like, if you've ever had a relative that's in jail or prison, then you've probably gotten those like letters that has all the nice, beautiful drawing on it with the big roses and your name done in like a graffiti way with all of this detail. Well, it could be your loved one drawing that for you and it could be that they paid somebody to make it for you. I remember when I was a little girl and my dad was in jail and prison, Back then, you could actually draw on the envelopes. Now, I don't believe they allow you to draw on the outside of the envelopes, but I remember I used to look forward to so much when I would get a letter from my dad because the envelope would look like the Lion King or, you know, Mufasa or the Little Mermaid. And it back then, they had color pencils and everything, and I remember getting these letters from him periodically that just were, like, so beautiful, and he would pay someone to create it for him so he could send it to me, so... Yeah, you would be really surprised at the creative geniuses that are behind bars. I mean, some of the most talented, you know, amazing, the, some, some amazing singers, amazing rappers, amazing artists, very, very, very intelligent people are behind bars. It's not all just, you know, low lives that you would imagine in there, okay? It's sometimes, you know, it's, incredible people that make a bad decision and then they break the law and they go to prison. So you'd be surprised. Another way that women make money in prison is by doing others makeup. Yes, there are actually some really great like makeup artists that are in there, you know, like people that do makeup break the law too. So they will like create amazing eye looks because in prison you can buy makeup on the canteen and I do plan on making a special video for you guys very soon about that so you guys just hang tight but you know they'll do different eye looks and stuff like that 
especially for visitation, you know. Maybe a woman has not seen her husband and her kids in six months because it's a long travel and she's sentenced to prison on the other end of the state. And so when her husband comes, she wants to be all fancy as much as she can be in there because you're not working with a lot. And so maybe she'll pay the next woman that was a makeup artist on the street, you know, two packs of cookies, two soups, and a honey bun to get her makeup looking snatched. And they hustle like that in there. You can't, you can't knock them. You can't knock them for, for hustling in there. <laughs> Another way that women make money in prison is by selling addresses. Yes, you would be shocked at how much this happens. That was another thing that I was telling you guys about in the unspoken uh, prison rules about like not leaving your envelopes around, especially, especially if you have a sugar daddy. Not only will women steal your addresses, but they can sell them to other people. You know, maybe they sell, steal your address and they're not bold enough to write or they don't have any desire to and you just happen to drop that envelope somewhere and they sell it. Also, when women are getting ready to leave, they will sell their addresses to other women of, you know, certain people. If you've ever been writing someone in prison, and I know that some of y'all have, and you've told me, and then you start getting mail from random people that you didn't know in prison, chances are somebody sold your address. Another way that women make money in prison is by selling illegal substances. Oh yeah, it happens. You would be surprised. And you guys are gonna ask me, how do they get illegal substances? Most of the time it comes in from the COs. I mean, you can probably Google right now, correctional officer gets arrested for bringing in, you know, substances to the inmates. And I'm pretty sure you'll probably find at least an article or two. So yes, selling substances. Happens on the street, it happens in prison. Another way that women make money and hustle in prison is by having their family members look up information for you. Okay, what are you talking about, Christina? It works kind of like this. You know, maybe I've got somebody sleeping next to me that seems a little sketchy and they're not, you know, I don't know what they're in here for, but I can't make a phone call and I really wanna know what they're in here for. So I'm gonna tell my homegirl, hey, have your mom look up so-and-so and find out why they're in here and I will pay you, you know, $2, $3, you know, worth of canteen. Also, you know, three-way phone calls. That's also another way is, you know, by having your family members call another person on three-way and get information from their family or tell their children that they love them. You know, not everybody can accept collect phone calls. So that's another way. Another way that women make money and hustle in prison is by making tampons. I've told you guys this before, that they will actually turn pads into tampons in there. And so you have certain women in there that are really, really good at rolling tampons. Rolling tampons, it just sounds crazy. They work, guys. No shade, no tea. I use them, as well, myself. <laughs> The women that make tampons are obviously very clean, you know, but I mean, it's still, they're making your tampons, but hey, you gotta do what you gotta do in there. It, to me, it's still a little bit mind blowing that those type of things are not just given to us. But then again, we're in prison, we broke the law, we've gotta deal with what we got, and so that's exactly what we do. We deal with what we got. Another way that women make money in prison is by working certain prison jobs that they can get paid at. Now. Pause. We're not talking about a minimum wage job. Holy cow, that would be amazing if we got paid minimum wage in there. In the prisons, especially the ones that I were in, there's only a small percentage of jobs that actually pay. Very, very small, and it's hard to get one of those jobs because usually they're full, and then if somebody you know, maybe goes home, there's already a list or a line of people waiting to get those jobs, but they pay hardly nothing maybe like nothing we're talking 17 cents an hour 40 cents an hour you know that type of thing it's basically hardly nothing but it's still something you know even if you make three five dollars a week you can go to the canteen and buy three soups a pack of cookies a soda you know that type of thing and make that stretch you for another week so even though it's not much it is something and you know it's good for people that don't have any family because also you would be really shocked to find out how many people in prison have nobody literally nobody 
no family members, no loved one, no husband, no kids writing them, nothing. So, you know, it's good for those people especially. Another way that women make money while in prison is by selling their medications. Oh my goodness, does this happen? If you've watched 60 Days In, I'm sure you saw all of them like making different concoctions and stuff like that. It goes on in prison as well. People sell their meds, whatever, and they hustle like that and they make money. <laughs> and the last way that we are going to talk about today that women make money while incarcerated in prison is by hustling the officers. Yes. It happens. You guys have heard me talk about it before. Hustle an officer, you know, have them drop a little bit of money in your account and stuff like that. That one's obviously a little bit more risque than some of the other ones, but it happens more times than you can think. So, yep. All right, guys. I hope that you guys like this video. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. I really appreciate you guys being here, listening to me, watching my videos, giving me feedback. I just, I really love you guys. So thank you. As always, please don't forget to like this video. It's a free way that you can help your girl out. And until next time, I love you guys so, so, so very much. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. We are, we are in the dark. We are nothing more than dust. Search, but you stay lost. We are.